Hello, how is it going, my dear Adrián? Welcome, we missed you last night. Hello, Lorena. Lo extrañamos a no teacher. De repente se me desapareció y me quedé buscando a Adrián. <laughs> we were missing you, Adrián. Okay, Roberto, chicas, hello, welcome, my dears. Okay, um, we are going to wait just a couple of minutes in order that people can join us. Okay, remember that uh, this week uh, concludes tomorrow. And then for tomorrow, we expect to finish the section number four. Okay. Uh, and then we are going to, uh, next week, we, we expect to um, conclude, right, the module with the whole section number five, okay? So uh, for tonight, we are going to continue studying the past tense of the verb, verbs. Welcome, uh, my dear, uh, let's see, Roberto, I said hello. Elizabeth, hello, Elizabeth. Okay. Hello, so, teacher. Hello, my dear. Welcome. Okay, so let me, uh, yeah, thank you. So let me share. Okay. Okay, uh, I want to show you which part of the platform we are now. Okay, last night we covered until the uh, pronunciation of past ED ending. So for tonight, we are going to cover 4.7, right? So let me just let the system to open okay um the objective for this class says that by the end of this class you will learn how to form positive and negative statements in the simple past using irregular verbs okay so last night was regulars and now it's irregular verbs so it's uh, quite different so we are going to continue with this topic and then in a platform you have the uh, 4.8 simple past statements with irregular verbs. So you have this, um, this video that I would like that you can listen and watch, right? Uh, in this case, you're practicing uh, negatives, right? Um, and also simple, simple uh, affirmative sentences and also negatives. So let me advance. And later, we will go to the knowledge check. In the knowledge check, basically, what you have to do is to complete the conversation with the past tense, with the right past tense of the verb. You have one, two, three, and four conversations. So please be careful to write the proper past tense of the verb. And then, um, if time allows us, we are going to try to cover 4.10 that says by the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer a simple past yes, no question. Uh, additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates the how the topic is used in real life settings. If uh, it's not possible, we are going to continue tomorrow with this part of the topic. So let me stop sharing and let me share my screen of what I have for you tonight. Okay. Okay, what I have here is like, a, like a, let's see, a chart uh, to explain how do we conform or how do we structure the simple past tense, but in this case with irregular verbs in English, okay? So remember that the definition of past uh, is that it's a verb that we use to refer to an action that took place in the past, of course, and uh, it was completed, right? It means that the action is already finished and it doesn't have to do with the present. So it's something that we already did and finished in the past, okay? Nos referimos a una acción que tomó su lugar en el pasado y que fue completada, ¿verdad? Eh, ya no tiene esa acción, eh, ninguna relación con el presente, ¿verdad? For example, we bought a new car last month. Compramos un carro nuevo el, el mes pasado. That's it. ¿Verdad? To tell a story in which one thing happened after another. Para decir una historia eh, de una cosa que ocurrió después de la otra, ¿verdad? Eh, cuando utilizamos esto de una historia después de la otra, utilizamos connectors. 
for, for example, we walked into a room and noticed it was initially dark. Or you can say, uh, you can use other connect connectors that, like later, then, after that, okay? Después, más tarde, después de eso, okay? When you are describing like events in a series, cuando estamos describiendo eventos pasados en una serie, okay? What happened with the verb be? The verb be has basically two forms for the past tense. Uh, we have only one form for the singular and only one form for the plural, okay? It's quite different to the present. Es un poquito diferente al presente que tenemos tres formas, ¿verdad? ¿Cuáles son las formas del presente para el verbo to be? ¿Alguien me puede? I am, is, I am, are. Is, are. Ok, excellent, thank you. Entonces utilizamos am únicamente para el subject pronoun I. Utilizamos is for he, she, and it, ¿verdad? Eh, and then, eh, para los demás, para los plurals, utilizamos eh, are, ¿verdad? Entonces, then, eh, for the past is quite different because we just have two. Was. I use was for I, for he, for she, and for it, okay? Singular. And when I want to make negative statements, I say I was not or I wasn't. He, she, it was not or wasn't. Remember that wasn't is the contracted form, okay? And when I want to ask a question, I use the verb be at the beginning of the sentence. And then I say, was I, was he, was she, was it. Okay, for the plural form, we use where. You were, we were, they were, okay? And when we want to have a negative, we say you, we, they were not, or the contracted form weren't, okay? And when I want to ask a question, I move the verb be at the beginning of the sentence and I say, were you? Where we, where they, okay? So that's the, the verb be. But I have other verbs different to the verb be that you know that last night I explained that we have regular verbs that normally they conform their past using ed, like play, played, work, worked, okay? We worked last night on these regular verbs. But also we have irregular verbs, which don't have a specific rule for the, for the past. So it means that you have to learn them by heart. You need to memorize all of them, one by one. Okay, <laughs> sorry to tell you, but there's no way different to learn them by heart. And the examples are right. Look that here the W doesn't sound. Vea que acá la W, so let me use my magic spotlight okay listen here remember that the w doesn't sound in este verbo la w no suena se dice right right and wrote right wrote right wrote y el participio que es written right written okay eh, read read ¿Verdad? Eh, en este caso el presente es read, vea. El pasado se dice red, como el color. Aunque se escribe exactamente igual que el presente, pero para usted definir que está hablando del pasado, usted utiliza red. Red. ¿Ok? Dice red. Como el color. ¿Ok? Like the color. So, what do we have to do when we need to ask questions? Or when we need to say negatives. We use the auxiliary or, or helping verb did, not, for negatives, or didn't, okay? The ones in red are talking about the uh, negatives. In order to have a negative use, you have the subject plus didn't plus the verb in present plus the complement. For example, I didn't like the meal. Subject, I. 
auxiliary did, contracted form of the negative, didn't, verb in present, like, de Neil. ¿Por qué el verbo se queda en presente? Porque ya tengo un auxiliar acá, ¿verdad? Que es el did. Entonces, este verbo se mantiene igual. Eh, comentamos la clase anterior que eh, el, el auxiliar, en este caso el did, lo vamos a utilizar para negativas, eh, como didn't, y para questions, for questions, ¿ok? So, what about the questions, ¿ok? We can have different questions. We can have questions with WH or only questions uh, with did plus subject plus the verb in present plus the complement, okay? Podemos tener preguntas simples que va el auxiliar did plus the subject plus the verb in present plus the complement like. Did you like the meal? Did, subject you, verb in present like, complement, the meal. But you can have a WH word questions. Later we are going to expand this content, but we can say, why you did, uh, why did you, or puede ser en negativo, verdad? Why uh, uh, you, why didn't you like the meal? ¿Verdad? ¿Por qué no te gustó la comida? Or, right? Entonces podemos decir otra pregunta con el WH, Y cuando sea ese el caso, when that's the case, you need to add the WH first, okay? Later, we are going to study questions in past with WH, okay? So that's a future topic. Okay, some frequency adverbs or verbs that you can use to talk about the past. Last week, a week ago, when, we, when he, she, or I was. Last week. Este last aplica para last week, last month, last eh, vacation, last summer, eh, last holiday, whatever you want to say, eh, last, ¿verdad? La última vacación, el último año, el último evento, whatever. Ago. Cuando usamos ago, normally we use a period of time. A week ago, a month ago, a year ago, ¿ok? Ago, hace, ¿verdad? Este ago es, the meaning es hace, ¿verdad? Hace una semana, hace un mes, hace un año. O when I was, cuando yo tenía o era, ¿verdad? O cuando yo estaba. En este caso, cuando yo era o estaba. When I was, for example, when I was 10 years old, I participate in a championship. For example, just to say something, right? Eh, and in that case, when I was 10 years old, I participated in a championship, okay? So let, let us advance. I have here just a few. Okay. So let me, excuse me that I have a lot of in my control panel. So I'm going to start by here. Okay, this is a, a small sample of the different uh, verbs that we have. So we have a lot of verbs, but this is just a sample. Esta es una pequeñita muestra, ¿verdad? De la cantidad de verbos que tenemos. So I, I brought here the most common, the, the ones that we use the most, los que utilizamos más. And look the difference. Awake, awoke, uh, Awake, awoke, awoken. Aquí yo me comí una S, N, me disculpo. It was a, uh, okay. Spelling mistake. B was where that I already explained, been. Okay, baseball, simple past, past participle. Despertar, despertó, despertado. ¿Qué es el past participle? El past participle, el pasado participio, agrega lo que en español nosotros diríamos como ado, edo, ido. ¿Sí? Ado, edo, ido. Eso es el participio. Despertar, despertó, despertado. Be was where, ¿verdad? Ser, estuvo, estaba, ¿verdad? Been, sido. ¿Ok? Ado, edo, ido, participio. Blue, blow, blown. 
soplar, sopló, soplado. Belt, I mean, build, belt, belt. Vea que aquí no cambió nada, ¿verdad? Pero el meaning, eh, sí, ¿verdad? Construir, construyó, construido. ¿Ok? Catch, count, count. Igual que el otro, no cambia, the, the writing, but you say eh, atrapar, atrapó, atrapado. ¿Ok? Choose, chose, chosen. Drink, drunk, drunk. Eat, ate, eaten. Fall, fell, fallen. Fight, fought, fought. Fly, flew, flown. Freeze, froze, frozen. Grow, grew, grown. Hear, heard, heard. Hide, hid, hidden. Hold, held, held. No, new, known. Late, late, late. Okay. Uh, the base form. Leave, left, left. Lend, lent, lent. Lose, lost, lost. Pay, paid, paid. Quit, quit, quit. Read, read, I mean, read, read, read. ¿Verdad? Eh, pero este es read y este es read. ¿Sí? Aunque se escribe igual, pero se pronuncia diferente para eh, diferenciar que estamos en pasado. Write, wrote, written. Run, run, run. Say, said, said. Okay. And I have here basically the structure. Okay. So in a structure, I say, uh, simple, right? I ate dinner, you ate dinner, he, she, it ate dinner, we, they ate dinner, right? So basically in the simple, um, in the affirmative sentences, you have to change the, the base form of the verb into past, simple past. But remember that when you want to make a question, you just need to add the auxiliary did and the main verb remains the same. It doesn't change. So you say, did you eat dinner? Did I eat dinner? Did he, she eat, eat dinner? Did we and they eat dinner? Okay. And for negatives, you just have to add the auxiliary plus the negative. Did not or didn't. I didn't eat dinner, you didn't eat dinner, he, she, it didn't eat dinner, we, they didn't eat dinner. But also you have the possibility to give just a short yes, no answer. For example, yes, for if you ask me, um, Patricia, did you eat dinner? I can say, yes, I did. Como un sí, ¿verdad? O say, no, I didn't. Y eso es equivalente a no. Pero tengo que decirlo completo, ¿verdad? Yes, I did. No, I didn't. Ok. So, some uh, simple past tense, uh, regular verbs, spelling rules. Ok. Uh, some of them change in the base form. Don't change. Don't change in the base form. Cut, cut. Cut, cut. And some of them, they go completely different, right? Different spelling from the base form. Go, went, eat, ate, dig, dug, come, came. They are completely different, okay? So, I would like that you can help me to uh, try to complete this, okay? So, I'm going to hide myself, take a picture, and invite you to try to complete the past tense. Okay, so I'm going to share with you this picture and I'm going to invite you to go to the breakout room and then try to complete with the, with the missing, with the missing part, okay? Vamos a los breakout rooms y tratemos de completar esta lista con la parte que haga falta. Puede ser que le haga falta en un caso el presente, en otro caso le puede faltar el pasado, o en otro caso le puede pasar, faltar el pasado participio. So, let us try. Let us try uh, to complete it. Tratemos de completarlo, ¿verdad? 
So, do you have questions so far? Tenemos preguntas? No? Okay. So let's create the room and let's go. Deal, deal, deal. This I'm sorry, yeah. I have some problems with my internet. Hello, Lorenita. Just in case you have problem, you can use the chat. Okay, and okay. it's and it's good that you turn off your camera when there's low internet signal. Okay. 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 Excellent. See you no, later. It, okay. Okay. Pero yo creo que vaya, por ejemplo, si vamos en orden con Kane, eh, con Kane y pasamos con Kane. Um, <laughs> con. Oh, no, is everything okay? Ay, tiche. <laughs> Estamos algo perdidos, tiche. <laughs> a ver, ¿en qué les puedo ayudar? ¿De qué vamos a completar la imagen que usted mandó? Eh, sí, eso, eh, traten, antes les había una lista, ¿verdad? Sí, exacto. Ok, entonces busquen los verbos en esa lista, si están, qué suerte, y completamos, ¿verdad? Puede ser que les haga falta el base form, que es el presente, uh -huh. el past o el past participle. Uh -huh. Ok. Sí. Ok. okay. Excellent. No if you have questions, extra questions, let me know. Okay? Okay. Okay, Ditch. See you in a minute. Thank you.
Luchar. Entonces es fight. Luchar. Entonces es fight. El fight. Sobre las dos, la, el simple y el participio son iguales. Fought. Uh -huh. Pero no en todos, fight. ¿verdad? Fight. Fight. Fought. Uh -huh. Fought. Uh -huh. Ok. Fight. Yes. Ajá, come on. Yo creo que así sería. Do you have questions, my dear? Tenemos preguntas. May I help you? ¿Puedo ayudar? Eh, en la mayoría de, de um, verbos, el pasado simple es muy similar al participio, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes, very similar. Ok. How do you pronounce dreamed or dreamed? Dream, dreamed. Eh, dream, dream. Vea que dream, es un poquito dreamt, porque puede dream. ser dreamed o dreamed, como lo que dreamed. decíamos ayer. Si lo toma como ed es dreamed. Dream. Y dog. Dreamed. Drunk. Drink, drunk, drunk. Drive, no, drive, no. drive. Y driving. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Drive, drive, driving. Okay, you finish. Excellent, excellent. I call you back in a minute. Lo llamo ya en un minuto, okay? okay. Excellent. Hello, welcome back. Excellent, you're back. So let me show you again the exercise in order that we can complete. Okay, who would like to start? I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and we are two groups. So I expect to do like seven per group. Podríamos hacer siete por cada equipo, ¿verdad? Ok, who wants to start? ¿Quién quiere comenzar? Vamos a ver. Si no, yo les ayudo, ¿verdad? No se preocupen. Let's see. Ok, people is coming. Let's wait. Vamos a esperar a que se unan más. Okay, I was saying that we have 14 difficulties, so you decide if you want to work in groups or we solve one by one, okay? Hagámoslo, hagámoslo juntos mejor. Come, para que hagamos la pronunciación de una vez. Come, came, come, came. ¿Cómo les quedó acá? Came. Came, came ¿verdad? Igual que acá. Y acá tenemos... Cost. 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 It's the same. And it means that when you use this verb, it's the contents, the one that will determine if you are talking about present or past. ¿Verdad? Mm -hmm. Cuando usemos este verbo es en el contexto que vamos a determinar de qué tiempo estamos hablando, ¿verdad? Okay. Okay. Uh, number three. Deal. Deal. Cut. Cut. Es cut. Ah, cut. cut, 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 cut. Mm -hmm. right? Okay, and aquí deal, deal, ajá, deal, deal, okay. Dealt. El primero no lleva él, no lleva t, verdad? Solo es sin t, deal. Y el otro, los otros dos es deal, deal. Okay, acá. Deal. 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 Do, do, does, does, does. Mm -mm. no, don't, no, 
Lo acabamos de estar usando. Yo, lo acabamos de estar usando. No, lo acabamos uh -huh. de estar usando de auxiliar. No me digas. Uh -huh. El pasado es did. Ahora, did. Ve, vean qué tricky, porque aquí, claro, es do, el verbo es do, pero también puede ser das en presente. Do, das, ¿verdad? Sí. Pero en el pasado es siempre did. 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 Only did, ¿ok? Do, did, done. Recuerden que es un auxiliar, pero también es un verbo principal que significa hacer, ¿verdad? Sí. Ok. Ok, let's advance. Draw. Uh, draw. 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 Ok. Draw. Ok. Dream. 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 Y dijimos dream. que podíamos decir dream, dream or dreamed, ¿verdad? Cualquiera de las dos formas, es correcto. Este verbo se lo van, pueden encontrar así y ambas formas dream. es correcta. En pasado, el pasado participio. Drink. Drink. Drunk. 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 Ok. Drunk. Drive. 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 ¿Y acá? No, drove. 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 Y... Driving. 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 Very good. Now, it. It, it ate, ate. Eaten. 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 Okay. Yes. Fall. Fell. Mm -hmm. Fell. Falling. Excellent. Feel. Mm -hmm. Feel. 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 Ok, no. y luego fight, fight, fought, fought. Ok, excelente. Ok, here I have another chart, but Teacher. because of the time. Yes, please, adelante. Eh, ¿Hay alguna regla ahí que se deba de seguir para, para utilizar, por ejemplo, que terminan en, en, en driving, falling, eh, en I, en EN? Eh, ¿Hay alguna regla para seguirlo? Eh, no es como una regla, pero sí digamos que por el sonido usted pudiera ubicarse. Eh, déjeme ver qué puedo eh, conseguir de mis materiales, ¿verdad? Y, y con mucho gusto, eh, si lo tengo, yo les comparto, ¿verdad? De mis propios materiales que, que yo tengo, ¿verdad? Con mucho gusto. Solo que por el tiempo eh, es un poquito eh, amplio acá, lo, lo sería vía chat, ¿verdad? Ok, so, uh, let, me see, let me see here, ok. This part is very similar to the one that I already presented, right? Este cuadro es bien similar al que ya les presenté. Entonces, basically here, the structure, les voy a poner mute, chicos, para que me puedan escuchar. Y después ustedes se quitan el, el ok, si necesitan hablar, ok. Uh, I have the affirmative, which is subject plus base form ED. El eh, subject eh, plus base form plus ED. I, you, he, she, it, we, they, subject, played football every day. I mean, play, played football yesterday. Okay, vean, estas son otras palabras que vamos a aprender del pasado, ¿verdad? Eh, last week, como ya les, habí, les había dicho, ago y también yesterday, ¿verdad? Uh, esas son expresiones for the past. Those are past expressions. Ok, what about, this is uh, regular verbs, eh, structure. This is a structure with the auxiliary do in the present, but did in past, ok? Eh, so, in this case, what basically, what do we have here? is that you have the base form in the past, but in this case you use the subject plus the second form or the past. I, you, he, she, it, we, they went to the cinema. Cuando le digan the second form, form of a verb, también se refiere al pasado, ¿verdad? That's the past. Okay, uh, what about the negatives? In the negatives you say, Uh, subject plus didn't plus base form. Subject, I, you, he, she, it, we, they, didn't play, right? Or didn't go. In this case, I didn't play football yesterday. I didn't go to the cinema last night. 
remember that for the uh, past, did is for all the person. Para el pasado, for all the subject pronouns, right? Para el pasado no hay cambio, ¿verdad? El auxiliar sigue siendo did, no importa que la persona sea cualquiera de los eh, subject pronouns. No hay ningún cambio para he, para she o para it. Se mantiene did, ¿verdad? And for the interrogative, we have uh, the structure is did plus the subject plus the base form. For example, did you play football yesterday? Or did he, she, it play football yesterday? Or did you go to the cinema last night? In this case, we write did first, okay? At the beginning of the sentence. But if you have an interrogative uh, with WH, you can say, in this case, you move the WH before did, and then you add did plus the subject plus the base form. And you say, what did you play yesterday? The answer, football. Where did you go last night? To the cinema, okay? Because in this case, they are asking for information. Okay, so let me advance. Okay, again, here I have another exercise. So I would like that you can take a picture and then we can continue practicing with the past tense of the irregular verb. So let me take a picture if you can, I will appreciate. Okay, le voy a mandar esta imagen al grupo. Si usted le puede tomar una mejor, lo apreciaría mucho. Okay, there you go. Okay, what we're going to do is to try to write the past tense of the verb in parentheses and to provide the right um, answer, the right yes, no question, ¿verdad? Usted ya sabe que las yes, no um, answers is yes, she did, no, they didn't, and so on. So the challenge here is to write the proper past tense of the verb, okay? El reto en ese ejercicio es que por favor escriba el correcto, el pasado correcto en cada uno de los verbos que están en paréntesis. Do you have questions so far? ¿Tenemos preguntas? Ok, so just let me open again the breakout rooms and please join. Thank you. If you have questions, let me know, please. Yeah, Robert, do you have problem by joining the group? Hola, hola, Robert. A new car last week. Mm -hmm. They went, went to Italy on their last. Hello, teacher. Oh, may I help you? Puedo ayudarles, chicos? How is it going? <laughs> Vamos. 
<laughs> Sorry, teacher. Don't I, I can use the and speak okay. with my Con Carlita. microphone. Okay. Uh, okay, Carlita, can you hear us? Um, yes, okay. Vamos a colocar el pasado simple de esos verbos que están yes, ahí. Yes, that's right. For example, the, pero, but be careful, right? Because look, the number two is a question, right? Ah, okay. So, uh, it says, and then here you have a question mark. So, it means that you have to start with the auxiliary, right? Uh -huh. So you say, did Helen, did Helen, and in this case, since I'm using did here, I just need to, to write the same verb. Did Helen drive to work? Sí, porque cuando yo utilizo un auxiliar acá, did, este verbo no lo cambio pasado, ¿verdad? Porque es una pregunta, uh -huh. it's a question. So did Helen drive to work? Uh, and so the yes. answer, yeah. ye yes. yes. Yes, she. Mm. Y utilizo el mismo auxiliar, ¿verdad? Yes, okay. she did. Yes, she did. Okay. Yeah. Yes, okay. she did. Okay. But number. Oops. Vamos a ver. Voy a tratar yo de compartir la pantalla. No sé si la logran ver. ¿Sí? Sí. Okay. But number three. My neighbor. My neighbor. Ahí sí estamos ante una affirmative sentence. Ahí sí el by needs to change. So, what's the past form of by? By. Um, veamos, by. La, veamos la listita. Ahorita. Es by. By. Um, y luego. Boat, ¿verdad? Boat. My neighbor bought a new car last week. Mm -hmm. So, we see number four and we see that this is a affirmative sentence, like number three. Okay. So, go. Which is the past tense of go? Go. Went. Went, went, ¿verdad? Very good. They went to Italy on their last summer holiday. Okay, fueron a Italia went. en su último eh, vacación de verano. Okay, number five is like number two. La número cinco es como la número dos. Exacto. We need to add the auxiliary, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, it's a question. Did they swim? So swims remains the same because you are using the auxiliary did. Did they swim at the beach? And the answer is no, they? No, they didn't. Excellent. Yes, yeah. because it's a negative. Six, my family and I see a comedy. Saw. So. So, yes, so. my family and I saw a comedy, a comedy movie last night. Uh, okay. Number seven. It's seven. Tears with us. Um, past, no. el pasado, did. el que utilizamos de auxiliar. Don. Did. 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 No, First did. we did, did. exercise, we did. and then we drunk. Drunk. And drunk. then we drank some, some water. Some water, okay. Number eight, suddenly the animal jumped in. By my hand. That, that verb is the same. Ese verbo se mantiene igual, ¿verdad? Eh, Why? Bite. Eh, bite. Ajá. Ah, ok. Ok. Eh, then, what time do you? What, what time do you? Yes. Did. To mm -hmm. get up sería, ¿verdad? Eh, okay. Sí, porque estamos haciendo preguntas. Entonces, si yo pongo el do como did y yo digo, what time did you get up? El get up se queda igual. Ah, ok. Ajá, okay. ajá. O sea, que cambia en este caso el do. Exacto, porque es una pregunta. No. Sí, it's a question. Uh -huh. eh, vea, el, el pasado es did. Solo le quitamos, del verbo anterior, solo le quitamos al pasado la letra e. 
El primero es... Y, y eh, siempre es esa misma regla. Quite, no siempre. Estos, no, estos hay que memorizarlos. Por ejemplo, ese es bite y luego el otro es bit, bitten. ¿Sí? Mm -hmm. eh, no sé cómo... Ah, a ver. Eh, bueno, yo, como les dije, voy a buscar dentro de mis propios materiales y les mando para que lo vean. Pero eh, mm -hmm. en ese, el pasado es eh, bit. Solo le quita... Eh, le, le quita la letra E, ¿verdad? Eh, suddenly the animal jumped and bit my hand. El siguiente sería, what time did you get up this morning? Porque es una pregunta, right? It's a question. Number 10, the Wright brother, the plane, the first airplane in 1903. ¿Cuál sería el pasado de fly? Okay. Flow, ¿verdad? Lo teníamos ahí en la lista. Flow. ¿Ok? Ok. Number 11. I, esta es una, pre, una affirmative. I think I... El, past of, el pasado de here es... Heard, ¿verdad? I think I heard a strange sound outside the door one minute ago. Aquí estamos... Eh, 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 Utilizando la expresión ago, one minute ago, hace un minuto. Okay. When I was 10 years old, ve, aquí estamos utilizando cuando yo era, ¿verdad? When I was 10 years old, I... Break. Break. El pasado de break. My arm. Broke, ¿verdad? I broke my oh. arm. Me quebré el brazo. I broke my arm. It really hurt. Bro. Pero este verbo hurt no cambia. Entonces, I, it really hurt. Queda igual. Okay. The police catch is an affirmative sentence. The police catch all, the, all three of the bank robbers last week. Una expresión de pasado, last week. Catch, ¿cuál Ouch. sería el pasado? Cow, ¿verdad? Ok, the police oh. caught oh. all the three bank robbers last week. How many times? Yeah. You, did you? Ajá, y es una pregunta. Es una WH. How many times did you read? Ahí se queda ahí. Uh, estamos read. usando mm -hmm. el did. How many times did you ah, okay. read that book? Okay. Mm -hmm. And the last one. Unfortunately, I. Esa okay. es una formative. Tiene que cambiar el verbo a pasado. Forget. Forgot, ¿verdad? Forgot. Forgot, forgot. To bring. Ese to bring se queda así porque es un infinitivo, ¿verdad? Porque el verbo principal es forget. Forget. Entonces lo cambio pasado. I forgot to bring my money. Ok. okay. And that's it. Excellent. Thank you, teacher. See you in a minute. Ok. Don't worry about. So, uh, just need to uh, look around the irregular verbs and try to memorize them. Ok. I'll okay. call you back in a minute. Hello, hello, my dear participants. Welcome back. Okay, can you hear me? Can you watch my screen? Pueden ver yeah. mi pantalla? Okay, excellent. So I would like that we can complete this exercise before the class finished. And I would like that you can help me to read the complete sentence and the way you answer. For example, number one. I ate dinner at six o'clock yesterday, okay? So I need a volunteer for number two. I can do it. Yes, please, Lorena. Um, did Helen drive to work? Yes, she did. Excellent, thank you. Another volunteer for number three? Hi. Mm -hmm. Please, Arian. My neighbor, my neighbor mm -hmm. bought mm -hmm. uh, um, a new car last week. Excellent. Very good. Thank you, Diane. Number four. Volunteer for number four. 
¿no? Volunteer. En three, ¿verdad? Eh, number four. Four, four yes. Four. The Gent mm -hmm. to Italy on days last summer holiday. Excellent, thank you. Number five, volunteer for number five. Did they swim at the beach? No, they didn't. Excellent, thank you. Volunteer for number six. I, I yes, can do. please. My family and I saw a comedy movie last night. Excellent, thank you, Lorena. Okay, that's the second round. Another volunteer for number seven. It's we. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Exercise. 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 Mm -hmm. Exercise. And we drink some. Drunk. 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 Mm -hmm. Drunk. Some. some water. Yes. Excellent. Thank you. Number eight. Some water. Ok, la voy a hacer yo. En este les había dicho que solo cambia, que se le quita la letra E al pasado, eh. pero el, el presente es eh, bite y el pasado es bit. Bit. The animal jump and bit my hand. ¿Se escribe igual? No, en el pasado se le quita la letra E y el participio es bitten. Ah, bitten. Nosotros la pusimos, ah. lo, nosotros le agregamos la D. Ah, no, ese es un irregular. Vaya, es entonces... Bite, así como está escrito, es presente. El pasado solo le quita la letra E y se dice bit. bit. El participio duplica la letra T, mantiene la letra E y escribe N. Biden. Es su del vuelto, teacher. <ríe> Just memorize, my dear. <ríe> Okay. Menos le hice reír. Te va a acordar de my expression. Es un del huerto. Jesus of the orchards. No, si es mejor en español. Es un del huerto. Ok, that's nice. Number nine. What time? Who wants to do number nine? What time did you got up this morning? Ok, get up se queda igual, ¿verdad? Porque utilizamos el did. Entonces se mantiene, get up. Excellent. Number 10. The Wait Brothers. Uh -huh. Flow. Flu. 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 The Fish Aeroplane in 19. Three. All three. Oh, All three. three. All three. All yes. three. Yes. Excellent. Number 11. I, I think I heard mm -hmm. a strange sound outside the door one minute ago. Excellent. Thank you. Number 12. I know. Nosotros have... tuvimos dudas. Mm -hmm. yeah, adelante. When I was the 10 years old, I broke mm -hmm. my arm. Yes, I've got it hurt. Hurt yes. se mantiene. Se mantiene porque no cambia. Es, no cambia. Uh -huh. It really hurt. Okay. Oh. Thank you. That's good. Excellent. Number y el participio de hurt se mantiene teacher. igual. Hurt, hurt, hurt. Es como cut, cut, cut. Um, en los tres es igual. Ajá, uh -huh. en los tres es igual. Sí. Okay. Okay. Number 13. The police. The police cough. Mm -hmm. All three of the bank's robbers last week. Ok. Solo es couch. Couch. Mm -hmm. Y couch oh. que topea. El pasado. El atrapó. Oh. Atrapó. Porque así como estás atrapar. El otro es couch. Atrapar. Couch. Ajá. Atrapó. ¿Y cómo se escribe? Sí. Eh, a ver. Sí. It's like eh. the same, but you have to add a U. Después, ¿Cómo lo pusimos, después, creo? Después de la A tiene que agregar una U. Uh -huh. Ajá, nosotros couch, couch. couch. Así como lo escribimos, Elizabeth. Es, que es, es, es ah, catch, okay. catch, couch, couch. Ah, catch, couch. Uh -huh. Ok, how many times? 
Did you read? Did you read? Uh -huh. Se que read se queda igual porque uso el did, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Ok, en number 15, I mean, yes, 15, unfortunately. Yes, totally. um, I forgot to brought my money. Yeah, I forgot, eh, en este caso puede quedar to bring también, porque es como un infinitivo y el verbo principal es forgot, olvidé traer. No mm. cambia, ¿verdad? El bring no cambia. I forgot to bring my money. My money. Ajá, ese to bring queda en infinitivo, traer. Y el que cambia a pasado es forget, uh, forgot, olvidé, ¿verdad? Traer mi dinero. Ok, excelente. Okay. Because of Lorena, the... y nos puede mandar, perdón, después el, el, el que completamos. El que usted sí. llenó en su computadora. Perdón, Vaya. chico, yo no lo hice, creo que lo hizo Lorena. Sí. Este, ajá. <risa> Ahorita, sí. pero. Thank you, Lorena. Thank you very much. Gracias. Okay, perdón. Ya se los mando. Yo anduve de grupo en grupo, no, no, al final ya no lo completé. Okay, Don't thank you apart. very much, my dears. Because of the time, we won't be able to do this conversation. I hope that we can continue tomorrow because we have a lot of uh, conversations for the past. Okay, thank you for coming. I hope to see you tomorrow. And don't worry about the verbs because you will find a way to memorize little by little. What I did when I was studying like you is that I proposed myself to learn one uh, verb uh, per day, or you can say two verbs per week, okay? Si usted lo agarra intenso, uno diario, vea, pero yo sé que son tres palabras, entonces al final usted se puede poner la tarea de dos a la semana, ¿sí? Pero cuando digo dos, me refiero a present, past, and past participle, ¿sí? What it means okay. that, that by the end of the week you will have six In words. Que para el final de la semana usted se va a haber aprendido seis palabras. Es decir, dos verbos con sus diferentes conjugaciones en past and past participle. But said that... Read, read, read. Good, good, good. Uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Yes, okay. and try to do sentences in your mind. Y trate de hacer oraciones en su cabeza, ¿verdad? De su día a día. For example, I cut the, 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 the nails, the, the fingernails of my children last Saturday. Corté las uñitas de los deditos de mis niños el sábado pasado. Entonces ya no se me olvida. Cut, cut, cut. ¿Verdad? Y así. And so on. You will learn. You set the goal. Usted solo establezca la meta. O sea, puede ser un verbo a la semana, dos verbos a la semana, pero con sus tres conjugations. Yes. Do you have a question, Adrián? Eh, en, ese, en ese caso que dice yo corté, I, I cut. El, en pasado... Y siempre al final que dice last week, o sea, last week solo es un complemento. No es en sí que haga el cambio de la, de la oración. Eh, eh, le, o sea, el verbo, le ayuda. El verbo, el, en pasado. el verbo en pasado queda igual porque es irregular, no, no cambia. Pero el last week o one week ago, one day ago, le ayuda a dar a entender que usted está hablando de algo que pasó. Something that already was done. El verbo, el verbo siendo irregular, hay, um, por ejemplo, caché. Eh, cachar, I, count, I, catch. I count the ball, I count the ball. Ahí sí. no hay problema, porque el verbo en presente es catch y el pasado es count. Sí. Vaya, Teacher. Count. Otro, yo utilizo count, pasado, mm -hmm. pero le anexo algo, un complemento que dice last week, el, el, el verbo en sí, en la oración, siempre queda como en tiempo pasado, count. Sí, siempre. El last week o one year ago o one month ago solo ayuda a ser más claro que usted está hablando de un pasado. Pero el que determina okay. el tiempo es el verbo. Únicamente en los okay, casos yes. especiales de los verbos que se pronuncian igual, como este cut, cut, cut y el... Ay, no recuerdo cuál es el otro que estábamos diciendo. Read. Eh, read, a, no, pero read se diferencia porque digo read, read. Read, ajá. Uh -huh. Sí, entonces con estos que se escriben igual, hurt, 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 for example, cut, cut, cut. Ahí sí tengo que poner algo que me diferencie que estoy hablando del pasado. For example, I hurt my, my arm one week ago. ¿Verdad? Okay. Me lastimé el brazo hace una semana. 
Pero si yo solo digo, I hurt my hand, alguien me puede decir, how, how it is, what happened. ¿Verdad? Puede pensar que estoy diciendo que, que en este momento, ¿verdad? Porque no agregué un elemento que dijera que fue one week ago. Adelante, Lorena. Perdón, Adrián, no sé si responde. May I share my, my screen? Yes, please. I can no, you can take the... no, ahí está. Now, now you can take the picture. Ajá, uh -huh, the screenshot because I don't have my cell phone here. So, you can take note about the answers. Yes. Perdón, en lo que toman la imagen, Adrián, no sé si respondía su pregunta. Yes. Okay, if not, we will continue studying the uh, tomorrow, the, the past tense of verbs, okay? Mañana seguimos con este tema, but tomorrow we are going to study the WH questions and the yes, no uh, question and answer with the past tense, okay? Okay. Okay, okay. my ya. Did you take the picture? Tomaron la yes. foto? Okay. Yes. Okay, my dear participants, thank you very much for coming. Thank you very much for being interested in learning more English. Remember to advance in the platform as much as you can. And I hope to see you tomorrow to, conclu to conclude our third week and our section number four. Okay? Good, night. Good night. Good night. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you.